hi there uh, in this video I'm going to show you how you can install a forum plugin called simple press in your WordPress dashboard uh, in this tutorial we will also look at some of the features and options that we can use uh, while using this plugin so let's start with installation of plugin we'll click on add new you can access this page from plugins tab click on add new and then in search type simple press you can also download this plugin from their official site as you can see this plugin is not listed in WordPress repository perhaps due to some licensing issues and other requirements so here it is uh, it has data importer free themes member plugins member themes so we are going to start from scratch with installation of zip file we are going to give it a path where we are going to extract this folder so let's see where our data is then we will check the themes and also plugins for the installation this is the place we are going to install okay show the files okay as you can see simple press is installed and let's see if it shows in our plugins panel yes plugin is visible here because we just copied the folder into our plugins directory now let's activate this plugin plugin is activated and as you can see there is a tab called forum where we can click on upgrade simple press or can check the settings so right now we have to first use upgrade simple press there seems to be a new version over there upgraded in progress files are upgraded and now we have option to go to admin or go to form so let's click on new tab forum should be visible to us right now in between we will check for forum admin setting as you can see it has all the options that you need you can create new forums check the options components and create user groups assign permissions integrate with other plugins or themes uh, modify profiles do the admin tasks control users install plugins and themes there is also toolbox for minor settings and there are some of these settings where you can check error log install log change log you can uninstall this plugin and some of the maintenance stuff like housekeeping link data in inspector 
uh, cron inspector you don't need to look at it right now so we'll see how our forum looks okay as you can see this is how our forum looks in 2011 theme um, we can change this and also adjust our form look by modifying the CSS right now we have theme options where we can click on our level themes okay so we have only one current theme with multiple color options so we will go with the white options if there is any click on eyes update overlay now we will go to refresh this page let's see okay so theme is changed now let's see the existing topics that I have created in Brady press are imported in this forum okay so this is just another demo topic for me is the name as you can see it takes care of title category and forum name so SEO wise this is good they have taken care of those things there is also option for RSS which you can use for your forum discovery and um, then there are some of the things like how many users are online currently online user who is browsing how many groups topic forums you have all these settings so let's check some of the other options like toolbox uh, what do you have here okay you can just force the upgrade then for housekeeping you have cleanup build indexes new post cleanup reset author cache and few other options there is data inspector uh, these are the settings that I don't want you to mess up right now if you are new to WordPress or anything related to forums or this plugin now we will skip some of these options because these are more in advance so we'll go to users tab check member information there is only one member with his first post last post and all you can assign rank to members or delete check admins your ad admin options if you want to receive email notification log out and few other options uh, also use plugins tab for available plugins that works with this forum only you can upload from plugin uploader which will be plugin specific to this forum then there are integration tab uh, related settings uh, page and permalink you can adjust the permalink to something else that you find SEO friendly you can select if you want to use any other name as a default for your forum then there are story locations I suggest not to do anything with that for now here are components like SEO you can read about it and do the setting that applies in your case there are forum ranks new member member admin etc but there are also custom messages that you can display for edit text editor about text editor insight editor admin view sneak peek statement or user only view or login and register you can have custom message you can enable disable it you 
you can also use smileys which are quite common on forum these are the ones that you find on wordpress and there are some other options like global settings uh, which applies to whole forum regardless of which thread or group the post is there so also check general display settings you have to replace graphic URL for form title and few other formatting and display settings are here you can keep the def defaults on and there are not much of issue if you do that you can create new group and when you do that new group will be added under forum so it will look something like that let's say some IT group description okay so this is a group education under which there is uh, topic IT under which we can find another topic given by me so these are the threads that you need to know you can assign permissions delete those permissions merge groups forums and RSS settings once you do all that you can check some of the themes and plugins on this page most of these options are only available to their members for which they do charge some specific fee and this is one reason why I avoid this type of plugins however um, as you can see they have $39 silver membership and gold membership if you are working for a business or you don't have any serious business plans then you can skip this membership and instead use some other plugin like say baby press or vanilla uh, if you want to uh, seriously work on wordpress based forums and want to use simple press then and only then i suggest using this membership and then getting help from their forums and use their plugins or themes otherwise uh, there are other free options which you should use when you can afford them so this is it for now and i will see you in another tutorial uh, let me know if you have any questions related to simple press or anything related to this video uh,